Hello viewers, here is a Lasco 3733 box fan. This is one of the oddball models that has the larger capacitor. And when I first heard about that whole capacitor thing, and I saw a couple of videos where these fans seemed to perform very well, and they had a startup sound, I thought it was some kind of a hoax. I thought people were editing the video or manipulating the fan in some way or whatever to get it to be like that. I wasn't really convinced it was actually a thing. But this is the second time now i found one of these that has the bigger capacitor. So I guess it's, it's a thing. And there really is a notable difference in the performance between one of these and the regular ones, if you will. I've done some video series in the past, um, probably about six months ago now, sometime in the summer, where I had to go on to Home Depot and I bought a few of these and one of them <laughs> ended up being the one with the bigger capacitor. And so I, I compared the, the specifications and the you know, power draw and, and the, the noise level and everything. So if you want to see the difference in the performance, go take a look at those videos uh, if I remember, I'll put the links to them in the description box. But uh, it really does make a, a surprising difference. Now, of course, I don't know if if the bigger capacitor is going to burn through the motor faster. Uh, I suppose that's entirely a possibility. But while it's working anyways, it definitely moves more air. And it has a startup sound. And it's kind of more like the older one. So this particular one was made in, if I recall correctly, 2015. Yeah, it says 2015 to 16 on there. Let's see if this will show up on the camera. And it's model, uh, it's not listed as 3733, it's listed as Oops, as model B2020. Now, I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't think it does, but there it is. So, it came with the feet by some miracle. And it came with the handle, too. The handle's intact. So, um, we'll go ahead and power it up. Actually, what is? let's check the power rating. This is rated at 0 0.8 amps, I think it says. It's not very legible. And just for curiosity, I'll get the kilowatt meter out. I'll get the kilowatt meter out and we'll see how accurate that rating is. And again, I did this all with, with two of these fans side by side in another video. I, I forget the results, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again, just out of curiosity here. So we're testing at 120 and a half volts over amps. And here we go, we'll start off on low. How perfect the furnace just turned off, so now we can hear the startup sound. Okay, here we go low. So it's drawing 0.6 amps, uh, which is kind of high. So it's only rated at 0.8. And you can see that it's actually moving a substantial amount of air. Medium, 0.67, so it went up nominally, 0.65, and high, 0.78, 0.77, so it's actually very close to what it's rated at. And as you can see, it's actually throwing a pretty decent breeze. So 
so yeah it's not uh, it's not bad again I don't know how long it's gonna last only time will tell that much but seems to be like a relatively decent and let's see if we can capture the startup sound it's not quite as loud as it is on that other one I have hi Definitely there though. Let's stop that to save how we edit the video. Uh, medium. And low. Alright, so. Oh, we'll cycle through the speeds too, I guess, while it's on. Another one of the anomalous models that has the larger capacitor. And now it's blurry. <laughs>